Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents Happy Solar Sunday to you this December the 14th. This is my one quadrillionth episode of the minimal solar maximum that was double peaked, super bizarre, and way too filamenty for my tastes. Feeling me? I was working on an economic video and I got called into action because a giant filament just tore off of the sun. And she's been acting really wacky about two years now. Whoa, did you see that? So you got your dancing gremlins? But there, look at that. That is freaking amazing. We got a coronal hole at the sun's equator, which is not normal. We got filaments popping off, tearing off left and right. It's almost like a snake shedding its skin. Or a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Everybody loves butterflies, right? So here I am bringing the action to you. Wow, even the bottom looks more scalier than usual. And everybody's been saying that the sun has been low in activity. But I've covered the ground before. They only consider sunspots and solar flares. As far as activity goes on the sun, they don't count solar erections. They don't count giant freaking coils that no one's ever seen before. They don't count filaments tearing off. They don't count hydro flares. They don't count solar tornadoes. You know, why does it seem like the majority of the activity is always right there? You know, it doesn't make no dang sense. How are you doing on this Sunday, baby? So earlier this week, the West Coast, after going through a horrible drought, now is 45% over their yearly normal for rain in one week, two or three days, really. East Coast, got a ton of snow. Europe and Ireland, nailed by storms. Philippines, typhoon. So as the sun keeps freaking out, we have more drastic weather. I have suggested getting people off the coasts, building cities, safer places. Nobody seems to like that idea. Wow. Look at tears. You got a bubble to a loop to lightning to a giant tear to waves. Solar waves rolling over a coronal hole. You got a solar erection. All right. What Thor News Sun episode wouldn't be complete without a solar erection? Oh, I'm sorry. Solar tower? That was the non-sexifying term because both the penis and the clitoris can get erection. So it's not like a male-specific thing. But some people are extremely uncomfortable when I add any type of sexual innuendos into celestial physics. I don't know why. Thor News is an adult program. If you're under 18, you are breaking the rules, man. You are not supposed to be here. Hell, most adults can't even handle the content. Sure as hell ain't for kids. Look at that loop, see, man? Come like, shit, yeah. That was crazy. Maybe the sun's been putting everybody in a bad mood. You ever think about that, Junior? Probably not. We've had a we've had a couple of M-class flares over the last few days. Pew, 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 man. It's pew, 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 pew. Wow, that's incredible. Maybe the sun like blows off its outer shell and then goes dark for a couple days. You never know. I mean, we're still mildly of the opinion that. The sun is a dragon egg, phoenix egg. Look, that looks like dragon scales right there, like a dragon spine. Now the different colors represent different temperatures. I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's definitely not earth facing because the earth is facing the SDO. Look at that, bang, cray. Totally craysome. Man, I wonder if you can catch plasma and then fuel your spaceships with sun plasma. Wouldn't that be some cool science fiction -y shit? And if you will be so kind as to notice, the corona of the sun looks nasty. Now most of the time, the sunspots stay in this equatorial range. If anything, they dip a little low. But now, we can see that the pie crust that makes up the corona is getting kind of cracked, cruddy. And that's a, a ripped off, I guess, from there. But look at that, man. That is a lot of activity. That's not normal. 